Mr. Ragazzi, how do you describe the situation in Europe, especially today, as concerns radicalization and speci specific radicalization of young people? Well, I think there is a, a problem uh, with uh, youth being attracted to violent ideologies and going to places like Syria. Mm -hmm. However, I don't think we should overreact. Uh, uh, right now, there's a political and media frenzy around the issue of radicalization which is pushing uh, many politicians to take very uh, hard measures. Mm -hmm. um, I think we should be uh, aware that overreaction from the part of Western governments is just going to make the problem worse. And in that context, so what particular measures would you recommend uh, to prevent uh, children and young people uh, from turning to radical movement? Well, I think there's a, uh, after, if you want, harsh uh, counterterrorism measures that were passed in the beginning of the 2000s, there's been a move now towards softer counter-radicalization. Uh, mm. Preventative work, uh, work based on social work, uh, partnerships, uh, private uh, t mentorships and so forth. And that can be useful, but we should be very uh, um, aware of a problem, which is the confusion uh, that can exist between law enforcement work on the one hand and uh, uh, social work on the other. Uh, if we ask school teachers, university professors, uh, healthcare workers and social workers to become intelligence officers basically, reporting their students, their patients or the people they're working with, then we have, uh, I think, a breakdown of trust in the communities. And this is what, one thing that should be avoided. And thank you for joining us, Mr. Ragazzi. Thank you very much.